All right, well, good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a blessed day. We are gonna take you through a stretching routine. This is the basic stretch routine to get you ready for exercise. So there's a lot of different forms of stretching. This is just a movement stretch to circulate blood to get your body ready for exercise. Um, the static stretching, which you might do later in the evening or holding positions for a little longer, but this is just getting you ready for the day, getting you ready for the workout. So we're gonna work from our head all the way down to our feet. We have Lex and we have Jason here today. And they're gonna be my models. So if I need to break away and talk a little bit about the stretching, they'll be the people working with me today. So we're gonna start with uh, head movement and work our way all the way down through our feet. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, here we go, here we go. So first of all, you're gonna work. I like to use mirrors or something that you can see yourself in the, and so you can watch how the stretch is going. So use a mirror, use something that you can use a reference to see how your body's doing. So we're gonna work on standing tall with shoulders back, head is up, and we're just gonna work on a slow rotation of that neck. I'm gonna try to just ease through that stretch. We're gonna do five movements each way. So we're just sort of listening to that neck. It probably sounds like crunching, grinding a little bit. We got one more, then we're gonna change directions. So we go through each stretch twice. The first is just movement, and the next we put a little tension through that muscle. So we got two more, rotating through, and then change directions again. This time I'm gonna put a little more pressure through that rotation. I'm gonna try to really roll through that neck, ease that, and keep those shoulders back. How's it feel back there, guys? Good, changing directions, rolling through the other way, just trying to ease into it, trying to look up to the sky. Four, three, two, one. Now we're moving on to your shoulders. So now we're just gonna work a rolling movement through my shoulders. I'm trying to lift and roll back through my shoulders. Nice and easy, I'm generating blood through my traps. And then we're gonna change directions. Now I'm rolling back to forward, back to forward, rolling. Five, four, three, two, one, change directions again. This time I'm gonna put a little more pressure through the bones, put a little more pressure through the muscle. I'm pushing down through those muscles, grinding that. Good, changing directions again, pushing through that. This is the first form of resistance training is stretching. I'm really connecting with my body, working through that movement. There you go. Now we're gonna extend those arms out to the side. Let's go ahead and go palms to the sky and work on those circles forward. I really wanna work on lengthening my arms and rolling through that, standing tall. Three, two, one, and then changing directions, rolling back. Five, come on, four, getting ready. Three, two, one, changing directions again. Now we're rolling bigger. I'm really rolling through that. Shoulders are one of your weakest areas. You have large muscles come into small muscles, and we need to make sure we take care of those shoulders. So go ahead and extend that left arm straight up to the sky. Reach, feel that tension. Three, two, one. Go ahead and switch one more time, pushing that right hand to the sky, straight up. Four, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and switch it one more time. This time I'm gonna separate my legs. I'm gonna put a little tilt into that. So I'm reaching, you should feel that through your rib cage do the lower back a little bit, two, one, other side, straight up, a little lean, feel that tension. We're always looking for the tightness, going into the tightness. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna start working rotation of that core. So my hands are where my shoulders are, and I'm gonna twist and turn. Twist, turn. My head stays stationary, and you see how my feet turn, my hips turn? There you go, look at we're all in sync, I like it. Three, two, now we're going up and across. I'm still reaching every time, pushing through that lower back, generating blood. This is the Jane Fonda workout right here. She knows what she's doing. Nice, now down across, down across, twisting. Four, three, Two, 
One, nice job. Now we're gonna put that turn into it. I'm gonna reach my right hand like I'm shaking someone's hand. I'm gonna dump that thumb and I'm gonna lock that arm across. Once I take a breath, I'm gonna exhale. Then I'm gonna turn and look behind me and then hold that tension. Five, four, three, two, one. Release, other hand, dip it, lock it. Turn, stand tall, plant your feet. Keep that core tight. Four, three, two, one. Back to that right side again, reaching, dumping, locking, and then increase the range of motion. Turn a little farther and feel that spine. Four, three, two, one. Back to that left arm, dumping the thumb, lock it. Twist, feel that spine. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Now we're moving down to our trunk. So I'm gonna move my feet shoulder width, hands on my hips. We're just gonna do a hula hoop. I know this is, might be a little silly, but this is the most important. This is where the equator comes in. The hips, lower back, spine. I wanna keep my head stationary and just rotate those hips. Changing directions, other direction for five, four, rolling, three, two, one. Now I'm gonna bend my knees a little bit and go back the other direction. You're gonna feel a little bit more up into the hips. I really wanna get those glutes and hips loosened up. Three, two, one. Change directions, if you ever have back problems, or you sit a lot, this is probably one of the movements you need to do. Three, two, one. Now we're moving on to your hips and hamstrings. I'm gonna separate my legs a little wider and shoulder width. Toes are straight ahead. I'm gonna hinge at the waist and work my hands down to the ground. Once I get those hands posted, I'm gonna sort of rock in my shoes, forward and back, so I'm generating that blood through my hamstrings and hips. I'm trying to connect with my lower back. Four, three, two, one. I'm gonna push my weight back and feel that tension. Try to get my palms on the ground if I can. And then I'm gonna start pumping through those legs. Bending my legs and squeezing through the muscles. I'm really trying to generate that blood inside my legs. Three, two, one. Lock it out. Now we're gonna put a little movement. I'm gonna reach across my body, back and forth. And you wanna work about 80% of your max, you know? We just wanna ease into that stretch. Back and forth, make sure I'm breathing. Five, four, three, two. Then I'm gonna to touch my fingertips somewhere over here. I'm gonna take a breath. And then I'm gonna push that palm down and dive my head toward my knee and just try to hold that tension. Five, four, three, two, one. Go to the other side, fingertips. Take a breath, palm, dive your head, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Go back to the other side, go a little farther. We wanna increase that range of motion, go a little more. Dive into that stretch, dive the head, hold that tension. You should be about 85 to 90% of your max. Four, three, two, one. Switch other side, fingertips, palm, dive your head. And it's totally normal to have one side a little tighter than the other. We have one dominant leg, one non-dominant leg. Nice, now release. I'm gonna lower my center of gravity, sit into that. And then I'm gonna work that left, right movement. So I'm really trying to stretch through my groin. So I'm working through my heel. And see how I'm using my legs and my arms to help support myself. Easing into that stretch, working through that groin. Five, four, three, two. And then I'm gonna settle to one side and then I'm gonna pulse on that leg. Five, pulse, four, Three, two, one, shift to the other side. See how I'm staying inside that knee, really pushing through that stretch.
go back to the original size, go a little deeper and see how I'm pushing my elbow into that knee and really getting that extra stretch. And let's hold that for three, two, one. Switch back to the other side. I'm pulsing again. Come on, five, four, three, two. Then hold, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna bend my legs. I'm gonna reach through as far as I can. I'm gonna straighten my legs, push my palms into the ground, and then flatten my back. Hold that. Five, four, three, two, bend your knees, work your way up, shimmy those legs in. Lift the knees. How are we doing, guys? Are we getting there? All right. So we went from wide, now we're gonna move it into shoulder width. So I'm gonna go shoulder width. I'm gonna hinge at the waist, slide my hands down my legs until I feel a tug, and then I'm gonna lock it into my ankles. Once I lock my hands on my ankles, I'm gonna go left, right, left, right. So I'm really working on those hamstrings and those hips. Four, three, now I'm gonna go together. I'm gonna slowly pump those legs, squeezing through that tension. Three, two, and then I'm gonna lock them out, take a breath, and then I'm gonna pull myself into that tension for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, bend your legs, work your way up. Nice, pump those legs again. Hamstrings are probably one of the most overlooked areas and we really want to pay attention to those hamstrings and that lower back. So we went wide, middle. Now we're going to go crossing, so one-legged. So we're going to do right leg. I'm going to cross it with my left leg. I'm going to square up my hips, support myself with one hand, and I'm going to reach the other hand down to the ground. Nice, hold that tension. Perfect, five, four, breathe, three, two, release that tension go to the other leg cross it square up my hips support myself with one hand and the other hand i'm reaching to the ground i'm really focused on that back leg nice job you feel one side is a little tighter five four three two one release remember we do each stretch twice so we go back to the right leg this is where we're going to improve a little bit so I'm gonna dive down and try to go a little deeper into that stretch. Come on, five, four, stay in it. Three, two, one, release. And we really wanna to try to stay away from the pulsing. Just try to hold that stretch and feel that tension. Back to the other leg, take a breath, and then feel that tension. Come on, body, work with me. Five, four, three, two, release. Nice job. So now we're done with our hamstrings. We're gonna work our quads. So go ahead and come up to something that you can hold on to. So Jason, Lex, go ahead and grab onto this bar. I'm going ahead and going to grab one of my legs by my ankle. So my ankle can move, my foot can move. So I'm grabbing right onto the bone. I'm gonna lock it in and try to push my guts forward and lean back a little bit so I feel that tension through my psoas and through my quad. I'm gonna hold that for five, four, three, two. Then I'm gonna hinge forward. I'm gonna try to lift my knee straight back and pull that so I'm getting that good quad stretch. Hold that. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Other side, grabbing your ankle, lock it in, stand tall, push my guts forward, knee is straight down. Nice job. Most powerful muscle in your body are those quads. We gotta take care of them. We're gonna dive into that, try to let that knee go straight back. Feel that tension. You should feel through the bottom leg a little bit too. Five, four, three, two, release. All right, let's test it a little bit more. Come on, here we go, back to that right leg. I really wanna crank it in this time. Hold it, tension, 
four, three, two, one. Dive, lift the knees straight back, square up my hips, and then push your weight back away a little bit and increase that stretch. Five, get it. Four, three, two, release. Last one, last one, grab it. This is where a good partner stretch is. You can have a partner help you with this if you need, or this is on your own if you can. And then dive into that. Push your weight away, feel that tension. Five, four, three, two, release. Then we're down to the last part, which is your calves. So we're gonna stretch that Achilles tendon. I'm gonna drive in there. I'm gonna push my heel into the ground. And then I'm gonna shift my weight just a little left and right through that Achilles tendon. So I'm really trying to stretch. That's the most stubborn tendon in your body. You're always working it. So we gotta make sure we take care of that tendon. Three, two, one, switch. Drive that heel in, shift my weight a little bit, feel that tension. I'm looking for tightness. Four, three, two, one. Switch again, a little longer stride, a little harder push. If you do a lot of hiking in the mountains, it's all calves, calves and hamstrings and hips. We gotta make sure they're ready to go. Four, three, two, one, last one, last one. You're almost there. This should take you about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes to get warmed up. Are you sweating a little bit? Good, we like that. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. So that is the basic stretch routine you can do on your own. Do it every single day before you train. It gets your muscles ready for activity, you're warmed up, you circulated blood, and you won't have any injuries and you'll have a better workout. If you have any questions, Outlaw Strength, I'm here to help you. <laughs>